going on? What's up, man? And we're so excited to see you today. <laughs> Puns. I love puns. Those are good. Hey, is that a knife in your pocket? Yeah, man. I'm ready. Well, hello, First Baptist family. I have got some special guests with me. We were thinking, how could we help your Christmas season be 1% better? We thought, why don't we, why don't we cook some recipes for you guys and let you know if you should attempt them or not? Cooking for Christmas with the pastors. We've got we've got three pastors here. We've got Pastor Ryan over students, Pastor Jared over young adults, young professionals in college, and Pastor Jason over children. This is the trio of next gen pastors. This is our hundred year anniversary as a church, right? And so we're going we're cooking with the pastors through the decades, and we have the 40s and 50s. So when you think 40s and 50s, I immediately think of deviled eggs. We're not just doing regular deviled eggs. We're doing deviled eggs with a little twist. We'll go ahead and get started. Have you guys, has anyone here ever made deviled eggs before? No. I don't like deviled eggs. <laughs> you don't like that? Does anyone here like deviled eggs? I love deviled eggs. I only want just to taste it. I've heard, I have no idea if it's true or not, but I've heard that if you put salt in water when you boil eggs, it will help them peel easier. I'm doing the Glenda Moore technique. Is that like a person or is that like yeah, a That's Callie's mom. This was and a simple, this was a simple phone this call to mother-in-law and said, Mom, you made deviled eggs for Thanksgiving? I'm gonna need some advice. And Jason got the extra ingredient there. We have official cooking with the pastors drama. In the eggs, we have a cracked egg. Looks like just the scrambled egg white though. So, so this person is health conscious. All right, as we're getting those eggs boiled, we go. We want to sit, share a nice Christmas traditional Christmas beverage. And what better for deviled eggs than egg nog, right? Do you guys ever like think about like ten years from now what life is like? Do and I immediately shut it down. <laughs> <laughs> it, means all, it means all my kids are like a teenager, and I'm yeah. like, I'm not ready for a writer to be like 17. Yeah. I gotta do another going to more. Oh, uh, here we go. Uh, Supposedly, it's supposed to make the eggshells easier to come off. To come off so, I mean, it's the cat apron, I think, is what it is. So. <laughs> oh, now we're setting the fire. fire. Uh, <laughs> is that the bacon? It shouldn't be the boil and water. So, we've narrowly avoided disaster. Thanks to Pastor Jason. You hear some uh, uh, construction noise, you know what's up. All right, we've got a quiz for you guys. I'm gonna name a food item, and you tell me what decade you think it's from. Eggs Benedict. We're doing eggs, right? Eggs Benedict. 30. 30s is actually the 70s. Wow. Lunchables. Ooh, isn't that like- Lunchables. I wanna nice. say the 80s. 90s, 80s? It is the 90s, very good. Mock apple pie. So oh, it's an apple pie without apples. Yeah, I'll give you a little hint. It was at a time when apples were tough to come by. Uh, 30s. You didn't use apple. 40s? When it was like the Dust Bowl, and the Depression, and the yeah. temps. Jared, it is the 30s, 1930s. Baked Alaska. 80s. I'm gonna go, because I don't know what that is. I'm gonna go with the 80s. Uh, it is the 50s. Oh, oh. lattes. The 2000s. I'll give you one more. Swedish meatball. I'm probably gonna go with the 80s on that one. This is the 60s. Oh. 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 It has taken us 45 minutes just to boil eggs. <laughs> <laughs> the baking soda technique has failed. All right, we have moved beyond the peeling. I didn't know if the knives were gonna be sharp today, so I brought my own. Behind, 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 behind. Jason's doing an excellent job over here chopping this bacon up. These eggs, I don't know if you can see them. This Listen. is pretty impressive. I mean, now he is the reigning bunny champ, too. Chili cook off champ, too. This little I competition little between the next gen pastors is. Maybe slanted a little, a little too heavily in this favor. Like, so you guys are all next gen pastors, right? So you've got children, students, college. What, what are some of the things that you guys do together for continuity sake between the ministries? I think like one of them is like our sixth graders coming up to student ministry. We try to get them in. We do like fusion days, so they come in to come try it out. And then like this year, we just let them join like a month early in May, yeah. in order to have a month before they go to camp. So that way they don't get there and they're like immediately going to camp and don't know anybody. Specifically college stuff, like we have college leaders that are in our uh, ministry serving. And so, oh, yeah. you know, we, we really try to emphasize like the Jared and 
um, you know, trying to give them their Sundays so they're not serving on Sundays so they can be kind of filled that that day and connect with kids their age. Help them to understand that um, as, they're, as, they're, as they're in this next frame of life and as they kind of transition a little bit out of the state board, kind of reaching back and uh, mentoring a lot of those uh, kids that are coming up in the high school realm. He said, making sure the college students are being fed and taken care of because we started when I started in January I think Ryan started in January as well so um, you were both kind of just new um, and, and learning yeah. kind of the best way to kind of navigate some of those uh, transitions and future transitions I just have to say the level of culinary expertise displayed in this house is unrivaled unmatched and I would say I mean look at these creations what do you guys think comment below which one do you think tastes the best we're about to taste them right now and Ryan is very excited about getting to try three additional deviled eggs you can look look at that face <laughs> you're just ready to go it's All like right. a full full breakfast you can only have eggs and bacon cheese crunch up oh right whoa, whoa. You have it. You have it. this is the what the southwest not as good what do you think? Do I just eat that whole same thing around? Yeah, how would you like just like a piece of sushi. Now. Yeah, I'd say we got three wins here. We will post the recipes below. If you want to make them at home, they, they all get thumbs up for me. They, these are awesome. And they would be a hit at your party. They did an awesome job. So thank you guys for joining us. We'll post the recipe below and we will see you in the next decade.